Tommy Boy, Season 1, Episode 3. I got my pup Logie here. Well, guess what? I decided to go with pigs and pies, everything in between, and hit a pie today. That is a pizza pie. There's two pizzas that I've had in my lifetime that I consider to be outstanding. One is from my hometown in upstate New York, Corning, New York. Anilio's Pizza. Everybody from up there knows exactly what I'm talking about. There is nothing better within miles and miles and miles, maybe even states and states and states. And then there's a place in Tennessee. It's called Emmy Squared. They serve Detroit style pizza. So if you're ever in Tennessee, you have to hit up Emmy Square for some Detroit style pizza. What do you think, Tom? Are you ready to go in and make some pies, my friend? Sure am, Chef Cavi. All right, Tommy, season one, episode three, pies, my friend. We're gonna do pizza pies. I'm gonna show you how to make a dough. I'm gonna show you how to make a couple sauces, and then I am gonna transform these into toppings tomorrow night. So look, to start off, the ingredients are gonna be 755 grams of zero zero flour, okay? I got a teaspoon and a half of yeast, instant yeast. I've got a tablespoon of sugar. I got two tablespoons of olive oil, and I've got maybe a tablespoon and a half, a little bit more of uh, salt. Be careful with the salt. You can tone it up a little bit. You can pull it back in a little bit, depending on how you how you like the taste. Okay. Um, the most important part of bringing all this together is going to be right here. It's going to be the water. It's going to be the hydration part of it. And I'm going to start this off for you, and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the hydration. Stay tuned. Hey Tommy, one of the first things people need to do when they're cooking, baking, whatever it is that they're doing in the kitchen, they need to get a scale. The measurements are so much more accurate with a scale than, than they are with just cups or by hand or eyeing. So listen, to start this off, I've got warm water here, okay? I need 490 grams of warm water. Okay. We're gonna pour about a quarter of a cup. You really don't have to measure this out, but just a little bit of that warm water in here. And then we're gonna mix in our yeast. Now, being Italian, I mix that yeast up with my fingers, just like that. We just wanna get it as mixed in with that warm water as possible. We don't want the water too hot because we don't wanna kill it. And we want it warm enough so it activates it. So we're gonna give that about five minutes. So as I told you earlier, it's all about the hydration. It's going to be the amount of flour and the amount of water that you put in. So again, if you put in 100 grams of flour and we want a 65% hydration, we put in 65 grams of water. If we want a 70% hydration, we put in 70 grams of water. So if you're using 500 grams or 700 grams of flour, just multiply that number by the percentage. So again, if you want 65%, if you're multiplying 500 grams, multiply it by 0.65 and you'll get the exact amount of water that you need to do the job in any type of pizza that you're making. So if you're making a Chicago style pizza, let's say, that hydration is about 50%, maybe 52%. If you're making Neapolitan or New York style, it's usually between 60 and 65%. If you get into Sicilian or Detroit style pizza, you're getting up to that 65 to 70% range, maybe even 75. That dough is really hard to work with because it gets wet, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. I'm gonna pour the rest of the water in. I'm gonna add a little sugar in. Okay, I'm gonna mix that up. Okay, and then we're gonna start adding our flour. All right, a little bit at a time, right? So we're just gonna take a, mm, I don't know, quarter cup or so, mix it in. Okay, we're gonna start slowly adding in the rest of this flour. We don't wanna put the oil in there too soon because the oil will actually coat the flour and keep it from the yeast, and we don't want that to happen. We wanna have good gluten strands and strings. We want to make sure that we get all that incorporated really well. OK, 
Okay, now is about the time I'm going to add in the oil. Okay. And I'm going to add in my salt. And then I'm going to finish it off with the rest of the flour. And then we'll knead this up. Okay. And I've got a little bit more flour in here to incorporate. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. In a second, I'm going to dump this out on the countertop and we're going to finish it off by kneading. So I've got my dough going and I still have a little flour in there. See that? So I don't want to add any more flour if I don't need to. I'm going to use that to keep my bench and my countertop and my hands from getting too, too sticky. And we just want to start working this dough. Now we're going to work this dough it's going to continue to get wetter and wetter as we work it. We're going to work it for about five, eight minutes just kneading it. And all you're doing is pushing through it, pushing through it, roll it over, push through it, roll it over. And we're going to let this ferment for about 24 hours. I'm going to let it rise for about an hour. And then we're going to put it in the refrigerator and we're, it's, going to go, it's just going to slow everything down a little bit. But it adds a lot, a lot of flavor to this dough. It's well worth the time. So if you're making pizzas, you can do it in a two hour time frame if you want. And they're good. But if you let them go overnight, maybe 16, 18, 24 hours, it's a whole nother level. How that's springing back into place. You want to get a close-up shot of that? Okay, I might work this dough for another minute or two, but it's looking pretty good right now. You see that? Nice smooth ball. So I'm going to put a little oil in a, in a bowl, all right, we're going to drop this in, cover it, I'm going to let it rest for an hour, okay, it's going to start the fermenting process now for an hour at regular temperature, warm air, so you don't put, you know, if it's cold or a draft area, keep it away from that, and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator and slow everything down, come on, follow me. Oil in the bowl, take your hands around a little bit what you don't want to do is it's going to prevent it from sticking when you try to get it out okay just make sure you got it all over nice and good and i put a little bit over the top of it bring this in just like that and we're going to cover it up Tommy, this has been out for about an hour. I'm now going to cover it up, put it in the fridge until tomorrow. I'm going to pull it out about two and a half hours before we get started, and then we're ready to make pizzas. All right, Tommy boy, we're going to finish this off with two sauces. Okay, one's your traditional red sauce. We're going to start it with a little olive oil. We're going to introduce a little onion to it. Okay, we're going to let them become a little translucent. we're doing that we're gonna to go to our lemon cream sauce this is a really really nice sauce so it's two cups of heavy cream all right and all you do is bring this to a mild boil it takes about five minutes 
We're gonna add juice from a lemon and a half, maybe two lemons, and a little bit of white pepper. We're gonna let that sit overnight. It's gonna firm up a little bit, and it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, the onions are exactly where we want them to be. I'm gonna pop that garlic in here. Give it about mm, maybe 30 seconds. You gotta be careful, you don't wanna burn this garlic, it becomes bitter. Just mix it in with the onion. Now listen, I am all about seasoning in layers. So we are just gonna put a little bit of garlic salt in here, all right? Just to give it a little bit of flavor, all right? And now, San Marzano tomatoes. More garlic salt. All right, we're gonna hit it with some dry Italian herbs. All right, we're gonna be in here long enough to moisten back up, and a little sugar. Now you can use carrot juice. Usually I do. I just didn't have any carrots available. So if you want, if you like a sweet sauce, use sugar. If you like something a little bit more spicy, use red pepper flakes. I'm gonna throw a little pepper in here as well. And then we're going to let this cook down for about eh, 20 minutes or so. We'll finish off our lemon cream sauce. We'll be ready for tomorrow night. Our cream sauce is looking to come up to a little bit of a boil, so I'm going to add the lemon in it. Mm, I'm going to add the white pepper. Now again, you can, you can do this to taste. You don't have to do it all. All right. I'm going to mix this in. Look, that pepper will break up. Don't worry about that. It's already starting to thicken. You can just, you can just feel it. All right, I'm going to let this go for about another minute or two. I'm Jack to get these things going tomorrow night, my friend. We'll see you then. Peace out. Last night, we had all the ingredients out here for our toppings, and I turned that into this. Last night, we let these proof for about an hour, then I stuck them in the fridge. I pulled them out about an hour and a half ago. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And I actually made a second one here because we have a few extra guests coming. So let's take a look at this one as well. Look at the air bubbles, how much it's proofed. It's awesome looking. Now I'm gonna put a little flour just a little bit of flour right there. I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna cut them into thirds. Okay, I'm gonna roll them into little pizza dough balls. And when our company gets here, we're gonna roll them up. Guests are about ready to arrive. <laughs> my wife made me take a shower and comb my hair, as you can see. And then she made this beautiful little place setting for tonight, huh? Throw some pizzas on there and look, get a picture of this. She even put my bourbon glass out. Thanks, babe. Tommy boy, our third set of guests, taste testers right here, Jamie and Jackie Nickel. I <laughs> am excited. <laughs> Well, we're excited to have you. And, and right next to them is my beautiful wife, Angela. Do you guys have any questions? Do you have any thoughts? I'd love to know what kind of pizzas we're having. I'm excited. Okay, so I'm gonna, there's, there's all sorts of toppings here. So we can mix and match and all that. But there's three of them that I'm going to make. Okay, the first one will be clams and poblanos. 
cooking with a lemon cream sauce. Okay. And sticking with the lemon cream sauce, I'm going to do prosciutto and caramelized onions. And then we're going to do a red sauce pizza. That's going to have cheese, roasted peppers, pepperoni, some uh, ricotta, some um, parmesan. I'm hungry. hungry? I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm you better starving. believe it. I haven't eaten all day. This is like, <laughs> so, this is the best invite so available so right now. So listen, here's a little tidbit. The average person eats 6,000 pieces of pizza in their lifetime. Do you know what that equals to in years? What? 16 and a half years. A slice a day. A slice a, a slice day. A day? That's crazy. That's almost a quarter of your life. Now, so we got our pizza ready. I'm gonna put a little cornmeal on the board. This is so it doesn't stick, and I'm gonna give you a little hint here. Do not get this board wet. If you get a little sauce on it, or anything wet, when you go to put the pizza in the oven, it's gonna stick, and it's gonna fold all over itself, just like I just did there. All right. So Chef Cavi, does cornmeal have any flavor? Not really. It's got a little bit of flavor, and sometimes you can taste it in a New York crust. But it's very mild. Um, I don't. I wouldn't even know how to describe it. But it's a very mild taste. Okay. So I thought you use flour so things don't stick. Well, the cornmeal is like little balls, okay. right? So when you shake it like this, it rolls. Flour doesn't necessarily do that as well. Sticks. You can use flour if yeah. you don't have cornmeal. Yeah. All right, Tommy. They wanted to start off with the clam pizza. Fit. Look at that. Damn, she's hired, Tom. Well done. Yeah. That looks, it smells amazing. I hope the viewers can smell that because it smells really good. Look at the smell vision. Grab one of that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be hot. Mm. Not for me. So Is it going to be hot for me? Yeah, it's going to be very hot for you. <laughs> you don't like the pot. Look at that, it's so crispy. You do that in your oven and you crispy like that? Yeah. Because... It's all about the hydration level in your flour. Cavi, that is so good. This is so, I want to know about that your That green sauce is what off is the chart. It is so good. So what would you rate when you're eating? What would I do what? Rate out of 10. Oh, this is a 10. I mean, this crust alone. I'm not sure that you can like give any pizza 10. Oh no, it's a 10. I mean, look at this. I'm more a red sauce guy, personally. I'm a white. This is really good. Mm. Where's my girl? It's really good. It's really good. It's fantastic. How about a rating for you? 8.2. The hardest part about this whole pizza is stopping. It's going to turn us into pizza snobs and we keep eating this. We're going to get out of the place and they're like, nah, pizza. I'm just going to call, I'm just going to call Carrie out from Chef Cabby. Will he deliver it? That's what I want to know. Is he going to deliver it? No, no, we'll come over here. He's got a really good stock of red wine too, so we can <laughs> carry out. That 
that lap so much. Looks wow. spectacular. Be careful, you don't like the hot stuff. I know you don't. I don't want to be listening to you complain it all night. You got a little string thing in there. Don't touch my string, I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> you gonna save it for later? Okay. How is it? It's really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, seriously? Yeah. Oh, he might not share. <gasps> I'm offended. And the sauce is really good. Yeah. I could maybe go for a little more sauce. I love the flavor, but I'm oh, like, you go. I'm, I'm a guy mm. that, That's good. that like, is, likes a lot of sauce. This is beautiful right here. Yeah. Dip. Here. Let me dip. try that. Yeah. Dip your crust in there. Yeah. This is incredible. I think I like this one better than the other one. I give the other one a 10. Is there something <laughs> like above a 10? <laughs> I don't think so. Tommy, this is an easy 9.5. 9 easy, Ooh, easy nine. Nine. This, this is one mm. that you would tell people to travel to. I might need so to take a if, sip if, of if Chef Cabby gives you an offer for this pie right here, it's an automatic yes. Drop the wife and kids, do whatever you got to do. Get get that done and get over to Cabby to be able to have this pizza. We'll let yeah. him be the judge of the numbers because apparently I'm like, because this is like above the scale already for me. Well, that's that's not yeah, realistic, right? Enough. It's like I know people that are going to watch this are like, oh yeah, they're definitely plants. No. I'm not. No. This is so good. I mean, this is much better than this. Why are you always criticizing me? This is still pretty hot. Oh, you sure? Do you want me to test it for you? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. You got it. You got this, honey. Oh, good crunch. Yeah. Really good crunch. <laughs> my turn. My turn. My turn. Here, here. Just take another piece. You're Mom, good. we can share. I'm piece. concerned about this marriage. <laughs> All right, I'll try now. Yeah, you bite this. You're not sharing it. Well, Jamie, you made that one. Yeah, you know what? I definitely made the best one. Best, the best for last. Oh my god. Yeah, this is amazing. How good is that? Is that the best? Right? I have to say, I think your pizza might be just as good as mine. All right, Cabby. All right, we punch. All right, so what do you got for a score? Wow. Mm. Eat some more. <laughs> it's a per it's perfect crust. Yeah. Right. It's the dough, right? No, it's the sauce. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the sauce is off the charts. Mm. It's like literally, I, I I don't want to lose my credibility, right? Because I have a lot of credibility. <laughs> you do. I know. Nine point two. Nine point two. <laughs> L literally. You're probably gonna have to kick me out. <laughs> That's a good score. Yeah, this, I've tried the yeah. three different pizzas, okay? And I will say that number two, which happened to be the one that I made, but not the because of sauce. that, the red yeah. sauce one, probably was my favorite. Yeah. Then I think the clam sauce one was my second favorite, okay. and this is my third, and I'm not really sure why. I mean, I love it, believe me. Is it's it because very, I made it? No, no, <laughs> no, I promise, it's not because you made it. You did a great job. <laughs> but I, yeah. it's, it's, very, it's very rich. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Tommy, you ready to taste it? Right. We want, I want Get into it, Tommy. Come on, buddy. What's that piece Can I finish that? Yeah. All right, we gave the camera to Maddie. Really and now just, it's just the sauce with right. white pepper. That's That's black pepper is white pepper. This sauce is tasting the sweet. All right, onion. I'm on camera yeah. now, and I'm about to try yeah. Chef Cavi's prosciutto well, onion we used, pizza. Oh, I got Romano in there, but I had Romano in the first one. Right. I just think the way that this blends all together. It's the combination of the sauce with the onions and the prosciutto that I love. I love the dough, I love the crust, but it's this combination. I don't know how I can't give, I can't not give it a 10. There you go. No, this is my favorite of the three, I disagree. Okay. I wish you all could try this. Pigs and Pies, season one, episode three, pizza. Jamie, Jackie, did you guys enjoy yourself? I loved it. Thank you so much for having us. Pizza That's good? Fantastic, yeah. Big 100%. cheers. Big cheers. Cheers, Chef. Thanks yep. so much. So Thank you're gonna you. have to come, we're gonna have to tailgate together in Georgia. 
Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Bulldogs! Pigs and pies, going to Georgia. We're going to take yeah. this outdoors. <laughs> outdoors. Take it outdoors. On the pavement. Kick Let's it in go. the cabin. With the country music. Thanks, Chef. Yeah.